Today we're back in Kilgore, Texas with some new information as we're looking for Rosemary Rodriguez. We're here with her daughter, Frances. Stay tuned, this is one episode you're not gonna wanna miss. After reviewing our footage, we had to come back. We couldn't even release the video for what we have for Rosemary Rodriguez. Let's bring you over to the family right now and just bring you up to speed as to why we're actually back here. And we have uh, Francis here, who is the mother of Rosemary Rodriguez. We have Francis, her daughter, and we also have Lita, her daughter. My mother is um, obviously missing. She went missing October 6th in 2019, but she's just the most beautiful soul, the sweetest person you probably ever meet. Like, wouldn't smash a fly, you know, that kind of person, and just overall, like, I don't know, do did, doesn't deserve to be in a place without us, you know? She was always a family person. You know, you get that gut feeling like, okay, something bad has something happened. Something has happened to her. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and with that gut feeling, you know, bringing us back, you know, we spent an entire day with you a couple of weeks ago. And one of the locations was at this location where we really focused in on it because we have, you know, a tip that the law enforcement actually received for Donna's property here. And with that, a set of tire tracks that actually went into the river. Yeah. And we're so focused on this that, they're, that they actually put a dive team in here. All of us missed whatever the reason why there was a set of tire tracks. I mean, this is a muddy mess. If a tire tracks are going in and none are coming out, whatever went in is still there. Yeah. And so that was really eating away at us that day, not being able to find anything. Why are we not finding anything? You know, based upon rivers, based upon how things go in. It's like, it should be right here. But here's the thing. When we reviewed the footage, that's when Sam and I, like our hearts sunk. It's like six by 12, the size of your mom's car. Have we missed it? Yeah. And I don't know, we don't have those answers and that's why we had to get back here. But let me share with you. I mean, I, I shared with you just a couple of the pictures for what we saw in Sonar. But if everybody wants to gather around, I've got a four minute video here. So the first thing I want you to notice on this one is, you know, the object that we're looking for is, you know, between 9 and 10 feet underwater. And you're going to notice when Sam stands up at the end of this, Sam's standing up right here. And he's closer to shore than where we've identified this object. In relation to what we're looking at here, these grid lines here, this is 18 feet. And so when you take that and you measure, you know, 18 feet, this is 6 by 10 to 12 is what we're looking at here. You know, in the moment, you know, for Sam not seeing it with us being there trying to guide him. And Sam saying that's not it because he actually touched something. But we never discussed the size of what it is that he touched or the orientation of it. And, and I 100% I'll fall on the sword on this one. My fault. I should have caught that one. And because we did review the footage, because we did see it, that's why we had to come back here. We, we just appreciate you guys coming back right like this it's amazing that that you would put in the time and and come away from your families again just to make sure for us and yeah, you're welcome good francis we're gonna find out for you okay thank you you're welcome i got a phone call from gray county and they wanted to know if they could search my property. I told them, well, sure. They said that they had an anonymous tip that they had reason to believe to search here. When I pulled in, there was like 50 law enforcements everywhere and divers and whatnot. And something come around this corner right here, right by the deck right here, yep. and just roll. See where that brush is down there, kind of on the riverbank. Oh, yeah. So then based upon, so, so let's come down here, Sam. Good, thank you, Donna. You're thank welcome. you, Donna. So last time we were here, Sam, you know, really we took a look at this and we said, all right, if a car comes in right here and it's not that deep, the car is going to float for two to 12 minutes tops. And we said, if a car came in here, the farthest it's going to go, and point over here, Jacob, the farthest the car is going to go is over there to that, see, see that log that's like below that sign over there? Yep. So that's the farthest that we would have put in it. Now, what we have is now that we have gone back and we have reviewed the footage, the car goes in here. And where you were at was kind of right between these trees over here. Yeah, so I'm thinking base. I'm thinking it's right there. Yep. So right over here. So, you, so if we grab the magnet, I think if we just magnet fish this right, right now, 
right in this area mm -hmm. is what we're going to attach to. So yep. let's grab the magnets right now and let's just see if yep. we can latch on to something right now. Sounds great. Right. I'd like to take a moment and reintroduce and thank Jacob for being here as well as Brock the Rock. They're going to be joining us today. Jared and I actually jumped a plane to get here knowing that these guys were within driving distance to meet us. They have the gear, they have the tools. We flew out, they're gonna be doing the majority of the work today. I just wanna thank you guys you know, for being part of AWP and thank you guys for being part of AWP. We couldn't be here doing this type of thing without you guys, without the collaboration of even the online viewers. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you're locked on, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaning on that a little bit. That's whatever that is. Yep. Right there. You're on it. It's like if you can imagine a tight branch and you're just kind of pulling, there's a little 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 play to it. Like that. Uh, but when it's on metal, that's that's tight. Uh, so we uh, we tossed the magnet, so we actually have the magnet attached to the metal. So we know it's not a concrete block, we know it's not, you know, we know it's not a tree, we know it's not forged of any sort. What we don't know at this moment in time is whether we're on that same ag piece that we had before or if it's on the target that we're actually looking for. So with that one, the good news is regardless of it, we know that if we're on the ag piece, we now have a reference point on where to go from there. So rock shooting up and we'll get in the water soon. All right. Okay. Pull the line right out. If it's the car, go around, feel whatever you can. Try to see whatever you can. Okay. Um, and just pop up and let us know if, if it is. Otherwise, you know, continue the search. Okay. Yeah, it gets steep real quick. All right, just a couple moments. Should know. Looks like an old, um, like a dock. I went all the way out to the end of it. And six, six by twelve. Yeah, it's it's about six by twelve. It's uh, it's just a piece of an old. It, it's shaped just, and, and I'll be honest, it's about it's shaped sort of that square rectangle piece on the. 360. It's it, definitely not his three by four that he was on. No. Definitely yeah. six by twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna say at least. Yeah. Okay. It, it's still not making sense why we have tire tracks here. Like it just has me. Let's do so. Let's do a couple things. One is Jacob and I. Let's get some sonar going. Yeah, let's get some sonar going. So we're we're missing. I feel like we're missing something in the area. I don't want to leave without. The, I, I get put it. More yeah, sonar absolutely. In. Jacob and I, we're gonna put the uh, boat in. He's got an inflatable, he's got sonar. So we're gonna spend the next couple of hours here. We're just, I, I have to clear this area again, so. We appreciate it. Yeah. So Jacob's unit is just a little bit different than mine. He's running a uh, Helix, whereas I run a Solix. All right, so there's my tree. There's my pillar that we had. I've got something right over here. Back on. Let's, let's 360 this area right here. Uh, anchor right here. Yep. Let's anchor it and then let's uh, 360 here. Thank you. This debris field down here is what I'm after. I side scan. I, I feel like I saw something there. Uh, so right now, I'm clearly saying, I mean, we've got tree, 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 tree. I don't see anything that's, you know, car in here, Jacob. Let's um, pull anchor. Let's just, we'll just kind of work this side of the river up is what we're going to do. All right, 
So we've cleared that side of the river. I mean, I just want to clear everything from that tree all the way up, Jacob. Nice and slow with the 360. All right, right now, Jacob and I, we, I think we can officially put our stamp of approval on that area. It's been cleared 100%. We've just gotten done clearing 200 yards downstream right here as well. Jacob, let's uh, throw it on the side scan. Okay. And let's just start running more of the river here and just give it an additional scan. All right, so we just finished scanning all the way down. We're probably down about uh, three quarters of a mile. Made it down to the little shed there. Too many bends in the river. I'm, I'm gonna say, based upon every car that we've ever seen, I would not put a car this far down at all, Jacob. But Thanks. it's good to come and double check it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Again? From from here all the way around, that's the only spot where the river makes like a true 180. Uh -huh. And so if there is something of, of heavy mass, it would get hung up there because there's no way it would keep you know carry on around. Right. And there's been boats, numerous boats that always get hung up in that corner over there, that could have came in from down there and just tumbles down the river. But once it gets to that horseshoe, I mean that's like a dead spot. Yeah. And, and this is, I mean, I, I'm I'm just gonna say Blocked my level. opinion on it but I'm going to you know, go down there. One is, one, we're missing a car or whatever went in here. We had tire tracks. You know, with that, you have a two to 12 minute float that based upon going from here to the bridge, no car in my opinion is ever going to make it that far. Yeah, I mean, if y'all are down, let's go check it out. If not, it's gonna 100%, because it's what, two, two in the afternoon, we yeah. still have sun, we're here for you. I mean, everybody here, you know, the viewers and us, I mean, everybody here is, Adventure with Purpose. Everybody here is participating in in this for you and your family. So, well, I appreciate it. Yep. So where we're going to go, Jacob, is the highway bridge on 42, where the phone was found, where we believe that, you know, the phone would have been tossed out the window is what we're speculating at this moment in time. And somebody doing magnet fishing found the phone on the shore down there. Now, could a vehicle be driven in there? 100%. Do I believe that a vehicle will then float down around that bend there? It's possible, I mean, based upon what I just saw on the map, that, you know, a two to 12 minute float can absolutely get to that bend. It's not gonna go any further than that bend. Yeah. Definitely a lot further than I thought it was going to be down here to around the bend. We've covered everything. We've scanned it, side, uh, side scan, down scan. Nothing that resembles a car of any sort. But you know, again, at the end of the day, although we're not providing the exact answer that we're looking for today, we are able to provide that answer for Frances. She said, you know what, a median, three different medians, and one of them, she says, is you know has helped solve over 100 cases. Say, so come down here to the bend check out the bend. We've now done that and now we can put Francis mind at ease. The, you know, her mom Rosemary not, is not here in the bend, so. Where to next? I don't know, Jacob. We're gonna head back up the river and let's go talk to everybody. And... Real long, exhausting day. I'm gonna catch you up with the same time that we catch, you know, the family up here with this one. Um, you know, we came back, you know, thank you to the members and, you know, and the viewers and everybody that's, you know, been supportive and to your family, you know, opened up your hearts to us and, you know, feeding us last night and that us, I, I wanted so bad, you wanted so bad for this object that we had today to be, you know, your mom's car, but here's what we have now. I can say 100% without a doubt, we've cleared four or five miles of river here all the way down, not just to the bend, but past the bend, your mom is not in this section of the river. I don't know why there was tire tracks here, but what I do know is, is that 
what Sam's concern was and my concern was seeing that on video is no longer a concern. You know, Brock was down on there. And then when people see the first video, you know, they can say, oh, you missed something. You know, no, no longer can they say that because we now know 100%. So where do we go from here to help you out? You know, because we're not done. You know, we're here to do whatever we can to, you know, further this for you and your family to help you out. We do know that we have, you know, Dead Man's Curve. That is there any possibility of us getting in there? And, and uh, you know, so if you guys can continue to follow up on that one, yeah, talk to them. We are coming back. So know that about us, you know. And, and write down every single location that you think we need to search. And if we need to be here for two or three days, you know, we'll give you four days if you need it. So. You know, whatever you need, know that we're going to be here for you. Sure. With these two videos also coming out before we even make our way back, you know, people are going to be, you know, giving us their, their right. tips as well. Yeah, that that means the world to us. You know, um, we can we can now, you know, we keep coming back to this spot, and, and now we can put that to rest. You yeah. know, we can we can move on and and look other places and and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that she's not here yeah and uh, you know just thank you guys so much for coming back I can't thank and all and yes. all of your community who Welcome. threw in to, to make this happen like I just want everyone to know that was a part of this you know we as a family appreciate that I know absolutely yeah but it was def definitely an incredible feeling to be able to actively be a part of this and to, to feel like you guys are including us in it. I'm glad that we're able to do the, this for your family. So, so with that, you know, thank you for being a part of this. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. But more so, you know, if you're anywhere in the Kilgore area and you have a boat, you have sonar, you know, keep this family, you know, in your thoughts and your prayers. Get out, of, get out there on the water. See what you can do with your own sonar and check out these rivers, check out these lakes and see if by chance, you know, Rosemary is in her vehicle underwater. On that note, thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.